Here we are with the Titov C. In another video, I conjecture as to whether this could be lit, and indeed it could, however it is not made to, and a lot of internal work would have to be done. The decals that come with this for the window are going to look really great once they're applied, so essentially I'm going to go straight ahead into construction. So as a kid, I tried to build a few planes, whether commercial airliners or even fighter jets. The one problem I always ran into was that the wings were never symmetrical. And I could never figure out why that was because the way I built it was to assemble the fuselage, then glue the wings on, and hope that uh, they stayed. In this case, I know better. What you do is glue the wing onto the fuselage so so it's perpendicular to the table then glue the pieces together in this case there are two pin registrations going on they don't quite line up exactly with each of the wings however I'm going to use them there's even insets here which set the idea in my head of using a single rod going straight across and into the wings just a little how I'm going to get the holes perpendicular to the wing in this case, I really don't know. That's going to be a tough one, I think. However, having those pins in there means that I'll be able to glue the hull together without the wings on, do all the finishing along the seam that I need to because these parts have warped over time. And even then, that nose and this canopy is going to be a definite piece of work to get done, even if I weren't drilling out the windows. Or even if I were drilling out the windows. This is going to be tough to match up everything and not get glue all over the outside, as I'm usually prone to. And it turns out, matching the bottom means the top doesn't match so well. Matching the top means the bottom is even further out of the way further out of whack. I also have to determine where on the bottom that I'll be mounting a support piece that will go into the uh, plaque on the wall. It's either going to be mounted face up like this against the wall or downwards with the Orion being in the opposite direction so that they both fit. Otherwise they'll each have to get their own wall plaque. And I'd rather keep them together since they're the same subject. So there's going to be a bit of cleanup work on here. I'm going to throw these two pieces onto my Dremel drill press. That way I know that I'll get a straight line. I'll have to dig up some brass or aluminum and make sure I have enough to run these two pieces across. There's a little cutting to do here due to uh, the mold pouring. No problems at all. and then getting these to line up. I know that at least one hole or the other will line up, so at that point it's just making the other one line up as well, which should not be too tricky. And in this case, the final piece to glue on would be this here. There are pins, again, however there are no pins on this side, so that would make it a bit more difficult to line up and hold on. But I'll look and see what I can do about it. And I had thought I was going to get off easy with doing very little, if any, paneling at all and just doing a single color. However, the work that I've done on the space satellites really requires me to push uh, what I can do here. And while the official color is basically white, uh, there's no good exposures of it, even in the Adam Johnson book and certainly none of the bottom. So that's a bit of freedom and I'm thinking if these are all heat shield essentially tiles all over the place then they should each be a slightly different color and I'm even thinking dark grays for the bottom if not the wing tips too. That would not be accurate for this however but I think it would look a bit nice. So I'm gonna have to mix up a few different grays at least one light, a medium and a dark with black and white tinges for five tones total. I'll probably base paint all of it in a silver so it's got that metallic undertone. And I'm sure this would certainly look beautiful in bare alclads. 
Now the speed controller on my Dremel is busted. That means there's going to be a lot of wobble going around the tip when it goes down and I want this to be as good as possible. So rather what I'm doing is this, letting the rest, letting the weight do the work and keeping it perpendicular. Ideally, I'd have the vacuum cleaner going when that happens. So let's see what happens here. That would be something if they do line up. That's certainly in the channel. Just a little bit of debris in the way it turns out, and that's in the channel. And I should be able to use this table to make sure they're lined up exactly. So it looks like this should work pretty well. They're definitely offset and torque. However, once this is clamped up front, that should straighten everything out. And then from there, trimming the poles down just a little, I should be able to make fairly accurate marks as to where to drill uh, into the wing. There are already two little divots, however one of them is going to be off. So I'll set one wing, make sure all that's set, and then based on where that is, I'll either use the rear or the forward uh, divot in the other side. And I'll probably want to do this kind of length here for the wings. Uh, this makes it very much easier. I could even glue it together now as is. Yeah, and then I'll trim this stuff down after. Once I give my arthritis break. 